Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. My father got home from World War II and he bought a Ford tractor with a program that Henry Ford had instituted to, for the GIs. It had a special program and he, he, he got went to the GI school and got one of them tractor outfits and he thought he could farm the world with that big old uh, two-end tractor. <laughs> I was driving it by the time I was five, six years old on a regular basis. He rented more land, more land, and uh, we farmed about 300 acres with three eight ends at one time. Yet today we use New Holland. That's how it all started. Then I got to as I got on later years and was, got financially able, I bought them tractors I wanted so bad back when I couldn't afford them. This is a 4000 Industrial, uh, and that immediately makes you think it's a backhoe tractor or not. Some people call it a light Industrial, but anyway, it has a fixed front axle. All your housings are twice as thick. The bolts that's, that uh, hold the rear ends together and everything is at least two sizes bigger. And uh, it's, uh, it's just a lot heavier tractor throughout, throughout the whole system. More than likely it was had on, on a loader, a front end loader, uh, but it's probably the biggest usage for them. And uh, they might have been used in, in buildings, dairy farms. They would put greater blades on the back of them and this one, this one had a loader on it. They're easier to haul and everything without the loader. I took the loader off and disbanded, got it away. Actually, there was a local uh, turkey farm had it, and it's pretty rough shape when I first got it. It has the extra, it has the funk transmission. It was not working and several things, and it was, the engine was wore out as far as that goes. We had to overhaul the engine completely and uh, do a lot of, updating on maintenance on it. This is a one year color. They only had this one year paint and it stands out because you don't see many like it. They make a 2000 and a 4000. This color, one year. The next year they made the same tractor but they painted it blue and beige. Then the next year is blue and gray. Everybody looks for something different and that's basically different. You don't see many of these around. Most of them have worn out and gone. Oh, I tell you what, we spend time in Florida. I bought tractors in Florida. I bought tractors in Virginia. I bought salvage tractors in Minnesota. And that's a real enjoyment going and being able to purchase. I bought some of this to basket case and getting them all put back together and then running. And I can't just tell you which was the worst one. It was enjoyable, whatever it was. <laughs> In 2018, George sold his Ford tractor collection at auction with Almond Vintage Power. As he got ready for the auction, he found it was much harder than he thought to part with the tractors he's worked so hard to collect. Every one of them has got something meaning to me. I've got the old majors. I used to like them to use them. There ain't many people like them to collect. You remember where you got it. You, you remember something about it. And uh, I've got too many to give the attention that I like to give to them. And uh, so I have uh, decided that uh, it's time to cut back when, uh, and spend more time, leisurely time with the family and go to more tractor shows. Believe it or not, I. I spent a lot of time doing things that kept me from going to tractor shows. And uh, I fully intend to attend more shows. You can see results from George's auction and other upcoming classic tractor auctions by visiting almondvintagepower.com.